Hello friends, welcome to the Cold War Prepper. My name is Lee and there's Annie in the background. Uh, she's something else. So this is the Prepper uh, Preparedness Hall uh, for the week ending Saturday, the what 25th of March, uh, 2023. So I guess we can start over here. Uh, one can of fruit, the pear halves, uh, one can of cream style corn, one regular corn, a uh, can of tamales, that's going to go with our uh, Spanish meal. Can of diced tomatoes. Squash with Vidalia hum, uh, onions from Margaret Holmes. <clears throat> and then red beans and rice. So in an earlier video, I told you we tried the red beans and rice. It was really fantastic, but out of the case, we couldn't find a single non-dented can. So we finally found one. Uh, I get the uh, squash with Vidalia onions because it's the only canned onions that I'm aware of other than freeze-dried or dehydrated. Uh, then up here we have another one of those jars I'm going to be using for candle making. Another can of tuna. Six packages of dog food. So we like to mix the wet dog food with the dry dog food. It just kind of makes everything last a little bit longer. A um, whole bunch of seal meal packages. Uh, we got two cans of sliced potatoes from Algerson Farms. These are dehydrated, 30-year uh, shelf life. Just trying to keep up with the uh, potatoes that I, that I have in stock. And uh, I like the sliced. Once you rehydrate them, you can cut them down into quarters if you need them to be more chunky. Uh, but I just like the sliced, especially for pan fried potatoes. <clears throat> A bag of nutrient survival peanut butter bar meals. And so these are survival. Uh, great for the bug out bag. Great for your get home bag. Great for your I'm not, never coming home bag type of stuff. A jar of cocktail sauce and we pulled one out of the pantry and put it into our working pantry so that's why that we have to have that replace it <clears throat> two uh, boxes of vitamin coffee from nutrient survival these are currently on sale uh, so I recommend you get those they've also announced that they're going to be upping their prices uh, I believe at the end of this week and uh, look forward they're going to be interviewing me a pre-recorded interview for one of their lives and I do the pre-recorded interview a week from today, uh, Monday. So it's going to be Monday in April, the first Monday in April, and we'll record that and have it available on their website or on their on their YouTube channel. Uh, a, a jar of coconut oil, and that is uh, long-term frying oil, basically. Another jar of quick barley, uh, a can of Denny Moore beef stew, and this is two and a half servings. And I put the information up on top because this is really a, a really good um, thing to have in your in your prepper uh, pantry. And it, this has got uh, 500 calories, and it's two and a half servings. So that's 200 calories per serving. That, that's uh, that's pretty good as far as uh, uh, one meal. And then of course for Helen, I got the uh, chicken and dumplings. So she really likes those. Got some more fuel for the stoves. Two cans of Sterno. Uh, basically alcohol uh, tins and then one of the sterno butane fuel cartridges for the indoor cooking set a can of raid so we can uh, uh, kill any insects that might be encroaching after we no longer have professional uh, insect control here at the house uh, off to the side you see some stuff i'm going to be doing that is the pathfinder uh, or self-reliance uh, pathfinder cook kit and then the uh, bush pot so I, I needed a large pot to uh, uh, do the recipe I'm going to be showing you and went out looking for it and found those. And I had never opened those and never used them. So I'm going to do basically a, uh, a, a opening type of a thing for you. Oh, there, there goes Isabella. She has been outside attacking every bluebird and, and other dog in the, in the neighborhood. Then uh, I did get in four books, Mary's Mantle, which is the Conse Consecration to Mary. Uh, we got in, I got in The Warning, which is uh, The Illumination of Conscience. So I'm also right now watching a uh, video of uh, Edgar, Edgar Case. And uh, so he's kind of predicting the same thing, the, the uh, Illumination of Conscience. And we call that the three days of darkness uh, that will come prior to uh, the great battle. But uh, then I, I picked up this notebook for, believe it or not, five cents in the, in the clearance area at, at Walmart. And then I got in two copies of Mother Earth News magazine and 
uh, a double holster for my Glock, and, I'm sorry, double ammunition uh, magazine holster for my Glock, and then, it, of course, uh, a brand new holster for my Glock. So this is the 45 caliber. So that's kind of where we are uh, for this week, and things are going to definitely slow down here in the near future. Uh, just running out of space to put things, so... Uh, and the wife does not like me encroaching in other areas. So so we're going to have to uh, make do with what we've got. And I think that once we, we did get the solar panels up on Friday, they have not been inspected and, and connected yet. So I have eight additional solar panels that went up Friday. Uh, I did get all of my uh, other plants planted. Uh, I do have some flowers and then I, I've got potatoes and onions to still get in the ground um, and then they delayed because of rain they've delayed my installation of the uh, rain catchment system to Wednesday so as of if anything happens it can happen after my final inspection and hook up of the solar panels and the rain catchment system uh, I hooked up that other rain barrel uh, the 35 gallon barrel here two weeks ago and it's already full okay so that's the way it is remember please uh, there's just not enough kindness going around. People are really getting uh, uh, short-tempered with each other and in, in, uh, incapable of understanding each other or trying to understand where the other person's coming from. We're getting way too judgmental and way too quick with our tempers. Oh, now Addie. So this is the third one. This is Addie. She wants in now too. So let's grab her. There you go. So that we have the three chihuahuas, and here's Addie. That's a better look at, at her. So uh, just be kind. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about you, sweetheart. Um, so be kind, polite, and respectful to each other because togetherness is the key, and we need to go through this together. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.